Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. All right, so back with the seven days to live videos. The old subscribers know what I'm talking about. The new subscribers, maybe not. But pretty much uh, for the last, what, since 2012, I've been doing a program called Seven Days to Live, right? Which is, to me, it's like second nature now. I literally pretend I have seven days to live. Why? Because based on my personality type, I only work when I'm under pressure, right? I, you know, when I'm under pressure, I go beast mode, right? So uh, I always act as if, because think about it, if you're one of those people, you want to use that to your advantage. If you're one of those people that waste the last minute and then just go super saiyan, activate, kill you again, bunkai, and just get shit done like it's crazy, you want to use that to your advantage because that's what really brings out your, um, you know, we it, it's, it's normally competitive people and people that are overconfident, right? We wait till the last minute. I know it's annoying, you know, because trust me, I've been trying to remove that for a long time, and then I realized, hey, you can't fix it, use it to your advantage. You want to put pressure on you to meet your goals faster, right? So, seven days to live really helped me because I, I literally made my brain believe that I was going to die in seven days. I was like, you know what? I only have seven days to live. Um, and what are the most important goals that I have to get done before the seven days, right? And I know it's kind of stupid because, yeah, you know, what's the point of doing things if you're going to die? But, again, it's just a trick. It's just a trick to put pressure on me, right? So, I would take my, my vision, my mission. That's my long-term goal. And I would break it down into monthly goal, obviously yearly goal, by you know, uh, uh, six six month goal, weekly goal, things like that, right? But I would boil it down all the way down to seven day goals, and then after each seven days, I would repeat the cycle, right? Well, I accomplished that. Now I only have seven more days to live, right? And doing this thing, breaking up my goals into tiny chunks, is how I'm about to finish my fifth degree. Is how. I was able to, you know, literally just get out of the worst periods of my life. That's how I was able to literally learn everything there is to know about, you know, the stock market. You know, that's how I was literally able to achieve all the people ask me, oh my God, you know, how are you able to do this daily routine shit for so long? How are you able to keep the motivation going for so long? You know, all the things that you learn and know, like, where do you find something? It's simple. I break that shit up, divide and conquer, man. Divide and conquer changed my life. If you're a lazy motherfucker, you're a procrastinator, dividing and conquering. Is everything right? So again, seven day goal series is back, and I'm gonna make that obviously once a week. And the point of this is not only to inspire you and to you know get you off your ass, but it's to use the comment section, to use the comment section as a place where everyone is gonna tune in, right on deck, and it's gonna write down in the comment section what their top two. Maybe three, but don't do not do more than three, right? Because more than three, I realize, eventually, you're not going to complete all of them. You know, I always say the reason why you failed Monday's goal is because you set a goal on Tuesday, right? So try not to set too many goals all at once, right? So one is perfect. Two, cool. Three, you're pushing it. Stop it right there, right? So write down in the comment section, what are your top two to three goals for the next seven days? All right, Team 3D, we're all going to do this together, right? So comment below. What are your top three, top two to three goals? For the next seven days, right? And then everyone is going to come and comment below and give tips. So let's say somebody comes in and sees, oh, one guy is trying to increase his bench press by 10 pounds in one week or some shit. I'm just throwing numbers out there, right? This allows the rest of the Team 3D members to come in and try to help, you know, give tips, you know, give tips, give feedback and say, hey, I've, I've achieved that goal a month ago or a year ago. Here's my suggestion, right? So the purpose of these videos, this series, is simply going to be, we're going to come in once a week. We're going to comment below what I, you know, Top two to three goals for the next seven days are, and then we're going to have the rest of the Team 3D brothers come down there in the comment section and give support, give feedback, give encouragement. Shit, while you're writing your comment, you can go back and also look at somebody else's comment and say, hey, I think I can help you out with this. Or you could ask for, you know, again, leave ego out of this comment section. No pride, no ego, no, hey, I'm the shit, I'm the master. No, simply going to help each other out. It's going to keep us accountable. And in the next video, right, because I'm going to keep doing this at least once a week, we're going to come back, we're going to set the new goals for the next seven days, and we're also going to, you know, report, you know, I'm going to say, hey, you know, for example, let's say you said my goal was to do this, you're going to let people know, hey, I've achieved this goal, um, this is what I learned from doing this, this is my recommendation for you guys, or you can say, hey, I failed, and this is what I learned from it, or uh, any recommendations, this is not working, it's going to be a way to, to, you know, to keep everybody accountable, right, and I have big, big, big expectations on this because I, you know, I, I really believe in, in that group mentality. You know, people get shit done when they're working in groups, right? When you're doing something that you know you're accountable for and you know you got people backing you up, you know, it pumps you up. Also knowing that seven days from now you have to come back and report. 
you know, to the rest of the brotherhood, that's definitely going to, you know, motivate you a bit. Right. So comment below, write down what your next, uh, your seven day goals are. Make sure they obviously have something to do with your vision and your mission. If you don't know what that is yet, make sure you watch my video on, um, the self mastery quiz. Take the self mastery quiz, right? No time to waste. It's going to let you know what your identity is, you know, uh, your soil, the environment that brings out the best in you. It's going to let you know your, your, your competitive advantage, what makes you stand out in the crowd. And it's going to teach you how to monetize that and how to, you know, create value from it. All right. So watch that video if you haven't. Comment your goals below. I'm going to be responding, giving some tips and feedback. And um, that's it. Don't forget to like the video. If you fuck with Team 3D, don't forget to comment. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out.